I'm so glad you were fine to be able to find more of Lori. We need to save Barry too now. I'm sure he's in pain. You have to hurry! Which is why the last two episodes have been spent on side stories. Greetings and salutations, everyone. I'm Ekamak. This is Tokyo Mirage Sessions, F.E. on Paul. In the last episode, we spent the entire time on a date with Ellie. Although it wasn't actually a date, it was just her practicing for her big uh, TV special. Because she needed to betray the girl in love with the protagonist, I guess. And in this episode, maybe we'll finally get to make some progress. Uh, actually, what happens if I were to... Alright! Thankfully, that's not over here. But it is a reminder that, hey, you are kind of underleveled for this area. <laughs> I am severely underleveled! And that Leviathan is new, so that's a worry. Let's try and take out this guy. Well, at least they're fire weak, we know that much. It's not wind weak. <laughs> Yep, that's scary. That is scary damage. But then we've already established that our equipment has fallen behind. Yeah, and also she didn't really resist the electric attack, so can't exactly blame her for taking a bit of a hit. But yeah... We've fallen behind in levels. I might just have to get into a fight with uh, Savage Shadow once I get to level 29. Because that'll be the best time I have of beating one of those Savage Encounters. I also know from my memories of it, the one that I did accidentally get into a fight with, they're all flying enemies, so we'll want to bring in Tsubasa and uh, Ellie. We'll charge ourselves up, and then, Fatal Sword on this one, all the other attacks should go on to the other. Got to love her back flip. Uh, no, I did it! I wanted to press plus so I could look at Tsubasa's stats because that looked awfully resistant. I wanted to check if Tsubasa actually has it, um, has ice resistance, but I don't get the chance now, do I? Unless it's Itsuki's Carnage, I'm not interested, Tiki. Tiki In fact, even if I were to get an offer for someone's... Uh, uh, I was about to say, even if it were a Barry side story for, you know, were available, I wouldn't be interested, but Barry doesn't have side story, does he? He's kind of the person we're trying to save. Okay, Zubasa can't hit any weaknesses, so she can give us a buff instead. Yeah, do 
HP defense hit evade. Well, it's not helpful, so we we'll just have to go with this. Show to style. So I did do a tiny bit of looking ahead and reminding myself of all things. Itsuki does get an ad lib performance, but he gets it for electric spells rather than sword spells. I don't remember if he just doesn't get a sword ad lib or if it's just going to be much later on, but I do remember that um, ad lib performance and it's great. Brilliant shine, brilliant shine. Oh well, at least we got her Marzan spell. Which we're probably going to get rid of immediately for Zenma. Uh, Tiki, I'm sorry, but if it's not Itsuki's Carnage, I'm not... You know, I had the slightest feeling at the back of my heart mind. You know, isn't stage 8 when you get something really good for Subasa? And I was right, and now I'm kicking myself because I really want to go get that, but at the same time, I don't. Because every single time I've started on an episode, the, or at least for the last two episodes, I've gotten this far, only to turn around because, oh, a side story is available. I better go get that, it might be something cool. And now, I have a really cool Radiant skill available. On the upside, I also have a shortcut back available. So it's all good in the end. Gasp! Rakunda everywhere. Smack him in the face. I'll set him on fire. You wouldn't think that the Red Mage is weak to fire, but it is. Subasa, you've just given me a really good reason not to put you in the party anymore. All right, we have treasure chests. Uh, uh, very good healing item. And a treasure key. Help! Looks like Barry really showed us what he's made of. He may have lost his powers, but he's still got the heart of Mirage Master. Memory's safe at the office, but she's really restless. She must be awfully worried about Barry. What have you been doing these last two episodes, you useless director Itsuki, you? Darn it. Oh wait, they're weak to bo- oh! Ho ho ho! Look at that panic it in Itsuki's face. Why are you doing this to me? Okay, let's have a look. Ice. 
electric. We aren't in that bad a shape against them, so honestly, let's just... It's weird that I talked about how useless this ability is. And yet, suddenly I find myself really wanting to use it. Really want to get those Leviathan Thought Forces, honestly. Okay, this should do a bit of damage. I mean, just look at how we managed to knock it down from party of four to two. One more. We aren't getting Chad Boy forced though. Like, let's go to the analysis. I feel like Leviathan Force is going to be used in an Itsuki weapon. That's a really weird assumption to make, but since they're electric people, I get the feeling that it's going to give us an ability related to... I feel like that would give us a good electric resistant weapon. Oh, we have an axe wielder here. You know what? Tarikaja. Then Rakunda. So it he shouldn't be able to start anything. We might be fine. Yeah, this one. Ooh, what luck! Oh dear! Oh dear! Red Barbarian is charmed. It took out an item. It tried to use a... Wagtail Plume. Well, that was rather rude, wasn't it? I guess the idea was that he'd use it on one of his allies, but there weren't any left. The thing is, we already know that he's going to be resistant to lances, so I'm not even going to bother with that. But, on the flip side, we also know that he's definitely going to be weak to swords. Alright, please give us a new carnage. Uh, 
Ugh, it's Tsubasa's carnage? Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Tsubasa, get us out of here! Alright, before we do anything else, don't even breathe, we get the Regal Sword, which removes our electric resistance, which isn't that nice, but it gives us a resistance to both type of ailments skill. But more importantly, it finally gives us something to put our mastery points into. I didn't even look at what sort of abilities it gives, it better do that. Armor slew. Yep, we're gonna want that. Okay, the Stingray. Fire Wind, Sword Wind, Assault Dive. So we have room for one more session skill. The thing is, we still have party members in tow, and once we get that new party member, we're going to have more weapon types than we have session setups for. That's going to get out of hand, and we're going to have to start having to decide which session skills we just can't keep using. But most importantly, ironically, this ability, this cast member can join in on a session even if they're in the subcast. By taking this, we no longer want to have Tsubasa in the party. Because it, by having her in the party, we're missing out on one extra session skill that we could get with her outside of it. And by joining in on a session, she is going to be getting her weapon expertise. So honestly, as awful as it sounds, she's now so good that we don't want her anymore. But we need to keep leveling her because we've got that big event with the... We're going to try and take down a savage encounter. But just know that if you aren't trying to be extra gutsy like I am, that's probably what you should do. On the upside, we now have our shortcut through the illusory uh, Daito TV station, I guess. I wasn't really paying attention to the name of the place, I was just focused more on the location. <laughs> These pathways situations are quite narrow. You would not be able to outmaneuver a savage in the mirage here, not at all. I find it kind of interesting how. Okay, you could always tell that the. Uh, in Persona 5, there was a very obvious this difference between the boss enemies, the savage enemies, and the usual enemies. But they actually made the savage, they actually gave a bit of uh, power to the savage, uh, to savage encounters with the 
in Persona 5 Royale because it, they became too strong to bully at. Basically, the way you dealt with them in the original you know, Persona 5 was that you just knocked, found their weakness, you knock them down, and then suddenly you don't have to worry. You can just tell them, okay, give me some money and go away. Or give me an item and go away. Or give me your power. No, but I'll go away. But then they got uh, too strong to be chased away. You had to get them through most of their HP before you could start bargaining with them. And that sort of makes me think of this, of how the game, of how the savage mirage enemies will no sell your sword attack. Well, sword strike anyway. Here we go. Stay drinker. I want to say that Ellie gets her open audition a lot sooner than the others do, but I could be wrong on that. And now Virian can do something. Unfortunately, he also maxed out his weapon mastery. Um, hmm. Wrong button. Uh, Hitsuki can now have the Endless Act. Also, Ellie has EP Fitness now. Strange, but not awful. Uh. I am quite worried, to be honest. That was so rude. You can expire, thank you. Oh, you'll definitely expire from this. Turn the light on. How many lanterns does that make though? I guess there's one more door that we can go through and that'll be where the final lantern is. Tiki can't join in on that, so we zap one of the phantoms instead. I need to remember to go after the uh, healing items. Thankfully, it doesn't look like anyone is uh, falling behind in luck, so I guess it's... I should actually go eat at the cafe one of these days, because I'm pretty sure that has better luck benefits. You're on fire, buddy. Oh, 
I've got to love how Ellie gives that little spin. And also, the next person that we need to buy an accessory for is definitely Subasa. Like, if I want to get into a fight with a savage encounter, then it's gonna have to be her because... She'd probably go down like paper if we're honest. To all staff working on the Soulless Serenade Special. Seems it will be instructions for the staff. What should we do? Let's read it. We will turn the light and lanterns on just before the actual show begins. Follow the director's instructions. And we'll read this. We've had a lot of people forgetting to light the lanterns. There are they're in four places. One in each cardinal direction. Use caution. What should we do? Read it. There are three tasks for today. Get the set ready. Get the waiting rooms ready. Rehearse for the show. And this. Press A to read. No, not really. If you, even if you finish all the tasks, stay put until the show begins. It's a live broadcast. If you run into trouble, improvise. And someone tried to sneak up on us, but because interactions cancel out all enemies, we're fine. I wonder if he has anything new for us. They're not new. But, they're still useful to have. I want to save the Blackwing Knights for last, because I'd like to try and get some sessions off on them. Drop Tien twice, you cheapskate. Rakunda? Well done. Inky feather obtained. Sweet. I don't know if we already had one. Ooh, we should have a new carnage available, maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Well fine, dash my hopes like that, won't you, Tiki? Alright, so off in the distance is a sealed chest. That was the last lantern, time to report back. Is there anything around this corner, perhaps? Hey, you know what, we'll fight the second one. Not worth. We definitely need to go get some EP restores, to be honest. Oh, Mazan stones, those would actually be helpful. Scram. Oh, 
Seems like you're finished. All right, on to the next set. Don't be late. Seems the path leading to the next area opened. I'll be on the floor above. Don't get lost now. He vanished. Honestly, wasn't expecting him to just go poof right there. I thought he was going to stay there and uh, disappear when we leave to a different area, but I guess not. There has to be a shortcut here somewhere. I should have paused and used slow-mo. It definitely speeds up the battles to increase session speed, I'll give him that much. We're not getting Tiki out, unfortunately. They hit so terrifyingly hard. We've gotten very close to level 33, but we've also gotten to the exit. And I've got to spend this on something, so. As much as I like having Fangbreaker, we have Ellie now, we can just Tarunda. I hope I don't regret that. This is good. We have our friend the assistant director, but... That'll be next time on Let's Play Tokyo Mirage Sessions, because I need to kill a Savage Mirage sometime. Might as well be next episode. Until then guys, take care. I'll we'll see you all around.